Hi, so the second association in Rails is the has one association. So like belongs to uh, association, has one sets up a one-to-one -one connection between two models. So let's take a look at, at this example here. So um, here we have two models, client and ticket. So inside the client model we will set up the association so we will write inside the client model has one um, column and the name ticket so that, that means the name of the model of the other side of the association so in the case of the belongs to association here <coughs> we uh, set up the association inside the developer model so a developer belongs to a team so here the um, the migration of the key will be done from the team to the developer model so team ID will be a, a foreign key inside the developer stable in the case of the has one association it is on the other side so we declare the has one uh, association inside the client uh, model so the migration of the key will be from the client model to the ticket model so we will have a client ID uh, foreign key inside the ticket table so let's take an example let's get started and take an example inside our Rails application so <clears throat> I'm going to create two models Rails J model Clients. And I'm just going to give it a name. So string. So Rails J model, J model client name string. And we'll create another model, which is ticket. Um, I'll give it one attribute two. So <coughs> sorry. So uh, label, which is string two. So okay. So now I'm going to create my database table. So rate db migrate. Okay, my tables are created now inside my database, my SQLite free database. Um, after that, I'm going to add models inside my client model file. Let me just zoom in. So here I'm going to set up my uh, my uh, association. So has a, a client has one, and here I'm going to type ticket. So tickets is in the name of the other part of the association here is in singular form because a client has one just one uh, ticket. So if I add an S here, it will generate an exception because the client can have only one ticket so it, it must be defined on its on its singular form and then after defining my uh, my association inside my client model I have to add the um, a <coughs> the uh, client ID inside my tickets table so all I have to do is I'm going to generate a migration so rails j migration uh, add client ref to tickets client references sorry references so raise j migration at client ref to tickets client references so i will create this migration here let me go to db migrate migration db migrate so this is my migration uh, file as you can see here it adds a uh, <coughs> this line here adds the uh, column uh, to the uh, tickets table and add the to the of the foreign key so now I'm going to run again rake db migrate Okay, the migration was 
run successfully so now I'm going to open my rails console and let me just create some object to test the association so rails C or console okay so um, I'm gonna just first create the client client one new client one dot name I'm gonna call it Peter client one dot save I saved my first object to my database now I have this row this um, now I have this record inside my database table inside the client table record with Peter on his name. Uh, second, I am go going to create a a ticket. I'm gonna take. Um, <coughs> I'm just gonna give it a name of um, just ticket ticket 100, for example. Ticket dot new. Ticket 100 dot label I am a new I am a ticket to a football match now I'm going to save this object before saving the object as you can see here <coughs> when I have created the ticket object it contains the ticket ID which is a field generated automatically by Rails the label which is of type string created and updated as which are the timestamp field and the client ID so here every uh, ticket object will have this foreign key column which refer to the client object to which the, this ticket belong or uh, the, the, let's say that this ticket belongs because every client has a ticket so uh, now I'm going to um, give to set this value we only have one client to our database that we have to, that we just created which is client one so which is which have an ID of one so uh, I'm gonna write ticket 100 that client sorry that client ID and I'm gonna just gonna give it one which is the ID of the object Peter one and now I'm going to save this uh, object to my database so dot save okay but now when I write ticket 100 it shows me this ticket which is saved to my database ticket uh, with ID 1 label I am a ticket to for a football match created at this date and the client ID is 1 so now when I go to uh, the <coughs> to the client 1 and hit enter and I found that uh, client 1 sorry so client underscore 1 so client underscore 1 so this is my client with the ID 1 it, it, is, uh, it has the name of Peter so now when I write when I type here uh, client one dot ticket so one as you can see here I can access the, the I can get the, the ticket of this client by typing this line here client one which is my, uh, my client object dot ticket so as you can see here select tickets from tickets where tickets is to see SQLite uh, statement so it returns this record here which which refers to uh, the ticket which is saved into my database so um, I think that's all for this uh, tutorial um, I hope you understood you understand you understood the uh, the concept of this has one uh, um, association and uh, in the next video we will learn uh, another type of association uh, so bye bye